Concussions. Do you know the facts? Concussions have come to the forefront of sports medicine over the last few years, thanks in part to a few high-profile athletes and their unfortunate health circumstances. And while there's no doubt that our understanding of concussion care and concussion safety is much improved, there are still quite a few common misconceptions out there that need to be eradicated. So let's test your knowledge with a little game of concussion myth or fact. Let's start off with this one. This is a myth. While helmets can prevent more serious injuries like fractures and brain bleeds, they can't actually prevent a concussion. Now this is because if you can imagine, the brain kind of floats inside of the skull in fluid, like pickles in a jar. And if the head gets jostled enough, the brain can still sustain a concussion. But please, still wear your helmets. Let's try this one. This is a fact. Most people believe that if you don't have symptoms immediately after an injury, that you don't have a concussion. But in many cases, concussion symptoms won't show up for hours, days, or even up to a week after the initial injury. Try this one. This is a myth. Many people have long believed that you have to keep someone with concussion awake for fear that they'll lose consciousness when they're sleeping and no one will know. But in reality, one of the best treatments for concussion is rest, specifically mental rest. And sleep is the best way to get that. So as long as they've been cleared by a medical professional, you can let them sleep. Okay, this one gets a lot of people. This is a fact. Many people believe that in order to be considered a concussion, you have to lose consciousness. But only 10% of concussions incur a loss of consciousness. And last but not least, this is a myth. Because it can take up to a week for concussion symptoms to appear, it is wise to wait until you have fully cleared the concussion protocol and been cleared by your doctor to participate. Returning to play too soon can lead to some complications like post-traumatic headache, a headache that lasts for months, or worse yet, second impact syndrome. If someone sustains a concussion, a second concussion, before their first concussion is fully healed. Hopefully we've cleared up some concussion confusion to keep you and your family safe.